all right guys so yeah today i'm gonna be um, going over how to use the uv um, fluid to find a leak um, i know they make them for coolant for um, engine oil so i'm gonna be going over the engine oil this should all be the same exact thing so just um you know make sure what you get is for what you're you know gonna do so yeah let's get straight into it all right guys so yeah to uh save some time and some money i recommend you um buying this if you're trying to look for a oil leak um i've used this and it works the best in my opinion for uh finding oil leaks if you have oil leak that's covering all over your engine um, this will help out um so yeah let me show you what i go through and let me show you out of the box and what it's for okay so yeah as you can see right here it tells you what it's for the oil and fuel system um, uv oil and fuel dye um so yeah the, um, let's open it up okay um so yeah this is the small little bottle okay so yeah this should be um good enough for a uh, four core system um, of engine oil and as you can see i already popped it open so um, you are going to need a uv light for this okay so yeah like i said um you are going to need a uv light i have uh, two examples um so yeah the first one is this um is is more like a violet um, color i don't know if the camera picks it up but it's more like a violet purple color and then uh, the other one is this bright blue one i don't even need to hold up anything this one's bright so yeah let me show you um you know how it looks like with the uh, uv light or with the oil okay so yeah this is with the purple one as you can see it brightens it up um, so it can make it a lot easier uh, for you to find your leak but i found with the blue one it shows a lot brighter at least for this as you can see it's super bright let's see if i can put some on me okay so yeah look as you can see this is the dye this is it with the purple one this is with the blue one okay so yeah first of all is to um have an idea where your leak is coming from is it coming from one side from the other side is it coming from the front from the back over here so um in my case it's coming from this side it's coming from the top it's coming from like the valve cover area somewhere right there so um i mean i'm gonna clean that off because all the other um, side of the engine is fine it's clean this is right here in this corner so the thing that i'm thinking is is if it's the valve cover or if it's the vacuum pump and to not waste money i'm gonna just um put the dye clean it and see where it's coming from so let's go ahead and clean off uh, the surface right here in the corner and then i'll show you how it looks like after okay so yeah now that we got um the area clean um i'm gonna go ahead and put my dye but if your situation is your whole engine is covered or you know like i said depending on if it's on a certain side i recommend you cleaning it off so you can have a good um, idea where it's coming from so you don't confuse fluids with something else um, but yeah uh, my side is clean now i'm gonna go ahead and lower my vehicle and put the engine dye in there and um, start it up and then we'll see what it's leaking out of exactly Okay, so yeah, as the engine is running, um, you know, let's just keep an eye out for the UV light. If you have one or not, a flashlight could help if you have a good eye and you can see the difference. But anyways, um, you possibly might have to drive it around, um, rev up the RPM so it can uh, build a pressure, so it can leak wherever it's leaking out of. And the last vehicle I actually had, um, it had to sit for like two hours and then the, the leak started to come out. I've never had that happen, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I had to sit for a while and then after I could tell where it was coming from. So um, just uh, you might have to drive it, you know, let it sit for a while. So 
either way hopefully um, you know you can find your leak with that so for now I'm still waiting it looks like it's coming from the valve covers but I'll give you for sure uh, see so yeah, I just uh, give it a couple seconds for it to you know move around the engine and I'll let you know in a little bit all right so um, so when I was recording um, the mic wasn't on uh, but anyways um, as you can see uh, there's like smoke from the bad oil leak from the corner of the valve cover gasket um, it's pretty bad it's going onto the exhaust manifold and it's creating a lot of smoke so let's put the UV light on it okay and then as you can see I have my uh, UV light on it uh, for some reason on uh, the cameras coming out as a lime green uh, color but you know as you seen right now that I showed you is like a bright orange um, but for some reason it's coming out green but that's not the issue um, you know, good thing I found the leak where it's coming from. So let's go ahead and get a new valve cover gasket and let's replace that. All right, guys. So yeah, hopefully uh, that helped you out. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool to use if you're having a tough spot or uh, something hard to find and um, an oil leak. Hopefully that helps you out um, to pinpoint exactly so you're not replacing parts. Sometimes those gaskets are hard to get to, and for you to do all that work for nothing. Um, so yeah, it does help out. The bottle is like, I believe like $3, something cheap. And I believe they sell the whole kit, the UV light and the glasses and stuff like that. They sell all that at, at your local parts store. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. Hopefully it helped you out. Thanks for all the subscribers. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Oh, and then also if you want a sticker, put in a sticker per subscriber. Say so hit that subscribe button. Peace.